Richard did his shahada, so um, he converted to to Islam under Anjum Chowdhury or Anjum's sort of slightly warped uh, extreme version of it. Um, so he he was his mentor, really. Beyond his mentor in faith. Yeah, I mean, he I I would go as far as saying you know he became a father figure for him. Right, including in the things he was later convicted of uh, uh, under. Um, I mean, Anjum always denied that he had anything to do with sort of facilitating uh, Richard's plans to go in and 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 get training um, with the with the Taliban. Um, but you know, he 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 always freely admitted that he was responsible for for shaping his his beliefs and his his kind of. His Islamic understanding, and he featured, didn't he, in the film that you made about your brother? Did you ask him directly ab- about him? Um, I, Anjum, yeah. I mean, I, I talked to him after Richard's con- um, conviction, um, after he pleaded guilty, um, and he, he, I actually, one of the things he said was, um, I asked him, uh, you, you know, I put it to him. I said, you know, did you? Um, I suggested that you know he was the one who was responsible for the radicalization and the brainwashing of Richard and others like him, um, and his words, um, <laughs> typically brazen, were, well, maybe some brains need washing, um, which I think is typical of. Mm. Uh, explain it goes a, a long way explaining sort of what he was all about. And how, how did you feel? You saw your brother go to jail. How did you feel um, knowing that until now Anjum Chowdhury was, you know, had his freedom, was out and about? I, mean, I think it was incredibly frustrating. Um, y- you know, I mean, it was, for me, it was obvious that he had played a huge part in in Richard's radicalisation. Um, and, you know, he's seemingly free to walk around and continue continue to sort of poison other vulnerable young men and and women's minds.